welcome back to the rat den this is rat tail textiles and i am larissa today we are going to be making a patchwork cardigan i am super thrilled i love patchwork cardigans let me show you something really quick hold on quick change this is one of the first projects that I actually completed, believe it or not. It was very early on in my crochet journey and it turned out really cool. I made this about a year and a half ago. It's awesome, I love it. What is special about the patchwork cardigan that we're going to be getting into is that it's not for me, unfortunately. It is actually for my barista and she has pretty much given me complete creative control over it we collaborated on the colors of course i'm just designing this thing and i'm super super excited one thing i did want to note when i first made this one i didn't follow a pattern per se but i did follow ecogens video on how they made their patchwork cardigan it was super duper helpful 10 out of 10 would recommend if you are making one yourself i would definitely check out that video of course linked in the description i'm not a gatekeeper but what I'm going to be doing this time is pretty much exactly what I did last time, but just with different colors, different squares. Hopefully this time around it ends up really, really nice. I will be honest, I have already started some of the squares. I have, I think I counted 12. Maisie, what are you eating? What are you eating? Oh, it's your toy! Oh, it's your toy! Get it! Get it, girl! Get it! I made about 12. They look pretty cute. We'll get into it. I wanted to show you guys what yarn I was using and kind of talk about my process a tiny bit. So we are using Yarn B Soft and Sleek for these two shades. And then for the other three, we are using I Love This Yarn, Super Soft, Super Savings. I got all of these from Hobby Lobby. I am using a size five for the granny squares and a size six for any of the other squares that I just like single crochet or double crochet or other stitches that I've been doing. So I just went to the coffee shop because I had some video editing to do. I saw my barista there and before I left I showed her all the squares I've made so far. I've made I would say about 20 if I had to guess which means only 50 more to go. I made a bunch of squares today and the yarn matches my pants. So we have some squares. I don't know exactly how many, so we're gonna count them really quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, thirty-nine. We have thirty-nine squares, so we're making a lot of progress. We're like halfway there. Holy moly. I haven't actually counted how many squares I need to do based on the last cardigan I made. So I'm going to do that shortly. In the meantime, I'm gonna pack up because my car got broken into and stolen. Ooh. The police found it, but the back window is no more. And I do not feel comfortable parking where I live with no back driver window. So I'm going to my boyfriend's house. Let me show you some of my faves. There's this one. There are these little berries. Soup's cute. I really started having fun with this style of granny square. Another one being this one and this one stripes enough show and tell i'm going to pack up my stuff and get over to my boyfriend bye hello and welcome to a segment of the show i like to call what, what the, the hell, hell is she doing? doing where i explain what the hell i'm doing i have yet to explain the construction of the sweater so i thought we would take a quick break so i can explain that to you i do look a little different spoilers now I need you to hear this. This is what I initially thought I was supposed to be doing. Wink, wink. Here's what I counted. For the arms, I counted four by four, which equaled 16 each, 32. For the back, I counted four. 16. The fronts, 
were both 3 by 4, which equaled 24. When I added those all up together, I got 72 total squares. So my goal was to aim for 72, and these were the panel structures that we were aiming for. Now that you know, we can continue. I will be back though. Don't you worry. I have about 40 squares. I have to set them out and look at them while I'm crocheting so that I can keep the colors balanced and even. I got 52 squares. 20 more to go. I'm balancing my phone on some yarn right now. I have done 14 squares within the span of yesterday to today, and I am getting pretty tired of squares. That being said, I only have 16 left. We're probably gonna be done with the squares tomorrow. And it's gonna be epic. So we have just gotten back from work. Ugh. We got, we got some squares to look at. We have 50 something squares. We are gonna set those squares up. We are going to place them how I might like to put it together. We are gonna see, we're gonna find out. We're going to fuck around, we're going to find out. That's what we do on this channel. That's what we do here at Rat Tail Textiles. We be rats, we worship the rat god, and we fuck around and we find out in a craft. And we live and we laugh and we love. We do a lot, we're busy, we're busy rats. What if I just cast this spell on you right now? Leave me alone. I just timed myself making this granny square. Basic, no color change. 13 minutes, 46 seconds. Would have taken me shorter, but my yarn had a tangle. So I just wanted to flex. Under 15 minute gang, 16, 16, 16, 36 plus 16, no, 58, huh? 16 plus 16, 32, plus 16, 57. Well shit, I didn't do my math correctly earlier. So I have 57 squares currently. There are a couple of misfits in here, I won't lie. This little guy, He's shaped a little funny. I'm tired of making squares, man. I won't even lie. I'll show you my two favorites. This one and this one. I love how creative you can get with a patchwork cardigan because really you can make the squares anything you want them to be. And if you couldn't tell, I really like a lot of variety, a lot of color in mine. A lot of the time I'm spending is just deciding what color, what pattern, what do I want it to look like in relation to all the other squares. So a lot of time is being sent, spent on decision making and creative planning before we just make a bunch of squares. Because we already did that part, we already made a bunch of squares, now we are finishing up the details so we can stitch this together. I have finished the squares. God bless. Oh my God. I just got back from court because back June last year, I crashed my mom's car into a light pole. But guess what? My case got dismissed. It's like it never happened. No accident on my record. No fine I have to pay. Not guilty. I'm so thrilled. So I took today off work because I had court. So what I'm going to end up doing is hopefully blocking 72 granny squares. Maybe. Are you so excited? My kitty's got dismissed. Yay! Through this old yoga mat I have, I blocked 72 granny squares by pinning down their edges with pins and steaming them with my iron. And it worked pretty well. Hey gang, so the squares are blocked. Here's some. Oh god. 71 squares blocked. You may be wondering, Larissa, I thought you said you made 72. Well, I forgot to block one square but it's pretty flat so it's not a big deal at all 
and I'm not gonna block it and we are going to put these together and seam them up. It is going to be awesome, it is going to be epic, I'm going to love it, I'm not going to hate the process, I'm not gonna hate myself, I'm not gonna want to die, it's gonna be so great. That was a little pessimistic, but you try seaming 72 squares and you tell me in the comments that you love it. You love seaming shit together. You let me know. I'm gonna set these up. We're gonna seam these bad boys. I tried to record the setup of the squares and then my phone ran out of storage. So this is what we're going with. I think it looks pretty fire. And guess what? We did have one extra square after all. And I don't like this guy, he's too small. So he's out. Those two are the front panels. That's the back panel. These two are the arms. It's time to seam, baby. Seaming this project ended up being a lot more frustrating for me than I anticipated. What I settled on doing was single crocheting the outer stitches of the squares together with a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, and that turned out pretty all right. Welcome to a different corner of my studio. And by studio, I mean studio apartment. Don't get it twisted. I don't have a studio. I have finished one panel. Yeah! And I even wove in all the ends, except the ones on the edges, because I'll be able to get those later. <gasps> I'll weave that one in. I'm going to take these to work tomorrow and work on them there, because it should be slow day, because it is the Chiefs Parade in Kansas City for them winning the Super Bowl or whatever the fuck they did. And no one is going to come into my job. No one will come in. No one will be there. So I'll be able to get a lot done. And it'll be a major sleigh. What's up? We're at work. And I'm seeming my third panel. I've finished two. I did not weave in my ends on the second one because I'm gonna do that later. As you can see, I'm doing multicolored seams. I'm happy to finally have panels. I'm super excited because I asked my barista what she wanted to do for like the colors of the cuffing, the ribbing, the sleeves. She wanted to go with the multicolor and I'm super excited because that is the direction I wanted to go. So I'm glad we're on the same page. I still need to order the buttons because she wanted a variety, which is what I wanted to do, but I don't own any buttons. What's up rats? Here's a post work update. A lot of stuff happened at work today. In regards to crochet, I finished crocheting or seaming four out of five panels. Sorry, there's a lot on my mind right now because earlier today was the parade for the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl and it ended with a shooting. So that really sucks. It really sucks when people take something that's supposed to be uplifting and uh, just binding for the community and then they tear us apart. I really sucks. But in regards to crochet, which is why you're here, this isn't a news station. You don't want to hear about the depressing things that happen in the outside world. Although we do keep it real. And that's why I'm bringing it up, because I want to keep it real. Like, fuck. Yeah. So I'm not going to be getting much done tonight because it is Valentine's Day. So, God, my brain is just like so, ugh, it's so fried. Like I can't think, there's just so much going on. I'm also, I think I'm going through a mental health moment. I don't know, I'm bipolar and it's doing something right now, but I can't tell what it's doing yet, but I feel different and strange and unwell. But that's not important to you guys either. I just wanted to say I've got a lot. There's a lot going on in Larissa's tiny little mind. And it's a little overwhelming. And I appreciate you guys for listening. Well, rats, I have made a terrible discovery. This is the back panel. I can only if you see, I can it's four by four. I can only count to four. I don't know if you noticed in the earlier clips that I was off but I sure as hell didn't. That back panel on my other cardigan is four by six. Welcome back to what, what the hell is she doing? doing? At this point, I was a little confused. I was unsure how the four by four back panel was supposed to attach to the three by four front panels, 
which across equaled six. So I was wondering how something across by four was going to attach to something across by six, but I thought surely there must have been a way to do it. So I went back to the cardigan when I had the chance. Guess what? The back panel was six by four, and I'm just stupid. So the back panel equaled 24, the fronts equaled 24, the arms equaled 16 each. Upsettingly enough, we have to make eight more squares to attach to the back. We're back to my apartment. Welcome back to the den. Welcome back to the rat den. So we're back from my friend Paige's apartment and we made six squares. Now, if you remember, I needed to make eight. So you should be saying, oh, that's two more there, so that's not bad. Well, guess what? I remember this bad boy. A square that I thought I didn't need. As it turns out, I only need to make one more, baby. We're already behind schedule, so we just gotta... One more. We just took a break to go to the gas station and get some snacks. I finished the last square and sewed all the squares together, so now the back panel is officially six by four and we can continue the project. I'm so thrilled. I'm gonna keep going. Oh my, oh my, this is a lot to manage. Ta-da! One of the most important parts about when you are seaming is to look at your goddamn work all the time. Be very, very careful, because it's permanent. I mean, it's not. You can very easily undo it, but it's permanent in your heart, in your soul. Did I do this right? So I did some cleaning, and I was going to work on the cardigan at my boyfriend's house and then I went outside and my car was stolen again. Yeah, it's a Kia. Don't buy a fucking Kia, guys. Or don't live in Kansas City or don't park in the street and live in Kansas City and have Kia Rio, the back driver window busted because it had already gotten stolen. Don't make the same mistakes as I did, guys. I'm just going to stay in my apartment and work on my sweater because I can't go anywhere. Despite making the diagram that I did to help me attach everything, I attached this arm wrong, so sorry, I'm still in a mood. But now I have to take the arm apart and fix that. It's been over an hour and all I've been able to do is unravel the seam that I did that was wrong. Okay. Since I'm recording, I might as well give this a fucking shot. Lap blanket. If you didn't see my first video about how I made this, check it out. Of course. For those of you who don't know, which is most of you, because I don't know why you should know, I have had really bad luck with cars over the past year. I didn't have a car from June to December. That's probably the direction I'm going to be heading again, is, is no car for me. Like I said earlier, always look at your work when you're seaming it because then you do silly stuff like me. If you don't, you do silly stuff like attach the arm all to the front panel and then it's unwearable you have to take it out and all of the ends you weaved in already makes it impossible. Sometimes the only way I can get myself to do stuff is by recording me. I don't know why, like I found this out a couple of years ago when I was trying to clean my room and I just could not make myself and then I had the idea, I made a time lapse of myself cleaning my room so that I could watch all in one continuous take the progress and that was very inspiring, motivating to, for me to get it done because I'm like, well, I can't get on my phone because I'm using my phone to record. And I can't stop because if I stop, you'll see me in the footage stopping and I want it to be one continuous shot. So ADHD hack, if you need it, record yourself cleaning a room or doing some other task you don't like so you can force your brain into doing it.
Okay, is this correct? Is this the correct way? Yes. Two in the front, two in the back. Cool. We're gonna seam the sides up. This has been a video of tragedy, man. My car gets stolen twice. There's a shooting in Kansas City. Shit is rough. Shit is so rough. She is seamed. I keep finding ends that I managed to avoid the first time. I, I, I don't know how they keep appearing. The arms are a lot longer than I anticipated. And this looks really short, but when I add the ribbing, it's gonna be the perfect size. The arms, however, I don't wanna take off these squares. I don't, because that's gonna be way too much work. I don't know why the arms are so huge. I really don't. I don't know what's up with that. Personally, I'm not super bothered by it. I'm just gonna text her and see what she likes. If she has a preference that is different, then I will take them off. But I really don't want to. But if that's what she wants, then that's what I'll do. I'm super happy with the colors though. I think it looks so cute. I'm obsessed with it. Like, I'm so sad that I don't get to keep this. Man, I'm really thrown off with the size of the arms. So she wants me to adjust the sleeves, which is perfectly fine. It's her sweater. And you thought you saw the last of me in this segment of oh, what the no, hell is she doing? doing? But you would be wrong, for another mistake has been made. The arms are now three by four. Which means we're back to 72. Which means I didn't need to make eight more squares after all. Thank you for joining me on this segment of What, what the, the hell, hell is she doing? So it is the next day, and if you see, you'll be like, hmm, well, what's that, Larissa? That's not, that's not your cardigan. I need to take a break from the cardigan because I do, I'm very much lamenting, regretting, and dreading. That's the word I'm looking for. I am dreading taking these sleeves out straight up. So yeah, sometimes you just need to take a break and remind yourself why you like what you do. And so that's what I'm doing right now. I My mom is coming to visit because it is President's Day and we both have off work. So my mom's coming to visit and hang out and she's gonna bring something to craft. And I think that is when I'm going to take out my sleeves and continue on the cardigan. So I'm not completely throwing it away for today or forever. Absolutely not. I'm just taking a wee little break on something else to uh, restart my mind. Everything is okay. The sleeves are done. I finally finished taking the squares off the end and they look so much better. Like this is such a better length. I'm glad I did this even though it took like two hours. That may, that may be an exaggeration, but it took a really long time to get those squares off. So now we're gonna cuff the sleeves, we're gonna do the ribbing on the bottom, the collar, the button band, and then we are done. Hey rats, I just got done hanging with my mom. We crocheted together. It was very nice. We also got dinner, which was very lovely. I took out the seams, which I showed you, and now I've begun on the bottom ribbing and I'm worried it might be cinching it a little too much so we might have to undo it and try again. I am slip stitching three between each row of single crochets and the back loops only and I think slip stitching three might be too much. You see this? It looks ridiculous. It's fine, it's only the millionth time I've done something wrong in this project and had to fix it. But, we continue on. Welcome to my bathroom. We are going to be dyeing my hair. Because uh, I've had this look for far too long. It's starting to get orange. Good morning. We're waiting for my Uber to work. So, we do as we do. This is how my hair and my eyebrows turned out, by the way. Hey, rats. I got a microphone. I also wanted to give a little 
background update, I moved my letter board down here. It says, ooh, baby, make a zine about it. Because I was really into zines for like a month, and then I just never changed it. And now I don't know what the letters are. So it's going to stay like that until further notice. The ribbing is done! Super cute. I love it. Such a slay. <laughs> Such a slay. <laughs> oh, oh, and I'm out of frame. <laughs> the ribbing of the jacket is done. I need to continue working on it because it is only 1.30 p.m. So I still have a bunch of time left at work. I still need to do the cuffs, the button bands, and the collar. But for the button bands and the collar, I think I need a reference back to my old cardigan because I'm not quite sure how I did it. But we're going to get the cuffs hopefully done because those are super easy. So we'll see. Rats, I have bad news. Unfortunately, I made the ribbing way too loose on this. This is unacceptable. And I know I've been complaining and moaning and groaning every time something like this has come up. But honestly, I just want the cardigan to be perfect. So I'm willing to go back and correct those mistakes because it's worth it. It's worth it for the final product. I want it to be as good as it can be. Disaster has struck. I've never broken a wooden needle before. And I'm so sad that I broke it. Oh, this was my only 4.5. So now I'm using a metal 3.5 to finish the ribbing for everything. And I guess I'm just going to use a 3.5 or maybe a 5 for the button band. Hello, rats. I'm, I'm very teched out. The moral of the story is the story that I haven't told. The moral of the story that I haven't gotten into yet is I spent three hours trying to deal with my car, but since I took the day off work to deal with that and there's nothing else I can do about it right now, we are going to grind on the cardigan so hard. I had to take the ribbing out twice on the cuffs because it was too loose both times, but I think we found the perfect medium this time. So we're gonna do that, finish the other cuff, get the button band, weave in all the ends, finish this boy. I know I finish every clip with listing off what I need to do and then say finishing it, but the list does get shorter and shorter. Thank God. It's been a few hours, but I got the cuffs done. They're kind of tight. Okay, no. They are not tight, but they are tighter than I expected them to be. They actually fit around my wrist very perfectly and are giving them a nice hug right now, which I really enjoy. So we're going to go with it because I tried to make them looser and we saw how that went. So now we have the cuffs done, we have the bottom ribbing done, now it is just time for the button band and the collar. And then I still have a bunch of ends to weave in because they have all decided to come poking out. So after that, we'll be done. Thank God. I'm, I'm sick of it at this point. We've reached the point where I'm sick of it. But we're almost done and I still think it looks great. I'm just tired of working on it. Here are what the buttons look like. They're not on yet. I just wanted to show off that I managed to space them three inches apart by eye along the whole button band. So, flex. So I'm putting the buttons on. I finished one side of the button band and then I realized for the other side, for the buttonholes, I need to know where the buttons are to make the buttonholes. So I gotta put the buttons on. The frustrating thing about it, I don't have a needle that fits the buttons, so I've been having to thread them with my fingers, and that has been a very tedious and frustrating process. Yes, rub your face on the mic. The button band is done. I'm super excited. I think the buttons look really, really cute. I threaded them with different colors. Of course I did to match the rest of the project and I think the length is amazing, the fit is amazing, it looks really good closed and I think it looks excellent open as well. I do need to block it. At least we're going to start the collar and then see how far we can get. 
Hello, rats. It has been a day since you saw me last. The reason why nothing got done yesterday is because I had a mental health moment, all capital letters, and I was focusing on keeping myself okay, and I could not apply myself to anything else. So unfortunately, I did no work yesterday. But fortunately, we're feeling better today. I just got off work. It's a Saturday. I got most of the day left. I'm going to weave in the ends. I'm going to block this bad boy. I'm going to be fucking done. Oh my god, I need burp. Maybe. Hold on. I'm going to see if you guys can hear my stomach squelching because it's so empty. Listen to it. Okay, it only did it once. I don't know if you heard but it's squelched. Come join me in the corner, rats. I finally cleaned off my green chair, which you guys haven't seen yet, only in the background of my videos covered in clothes, but the clothes are off the chair and we're gonna sit in... Stop scratching the chair. Oh my God. We're gonna go sit in the chair. We're gonna weave in ends. It's gonna be the time of our lives. Hey rats, it's been a couple of hours. I'm really not doing well. Mentally. A lot of things have happened during the creation of this card again. And as much as I like the card again, I'm glad I'm not keeping it. They can love it and enjoy it and create good memories in it. I've had a really shitty couple of weeks but like these past couple days in particular just have been really rough very difficult to deal with very difficult to want to live to want to create to want to produce to want to contribute I feel inadequate I feel like my work is shoddy and I didn't do as good of a job as I should have. Like I, f- like, I feel like I let the cardigan down. And by extension, my barista and you guys and myself. As much as I want to be a performer and stick to being happy and kooky and creative and making shit, like... That is not me 100% of the time. And I can't be that 100% of the time. So I'm going to show the other parts of me too. Because I I want to be honest. So I feel like I feel bad talking about mental illness sometimes. Like what I experience. Because I don't have a solution. I don't have an answer. All I have are symptoms. I started recording because I've one end left to weave in of the cardigan. (laughs) It's so hard to move on. I don't know if I'm ready to move on from this cardigan yet. It has been the constant in all of this shit I've been going through this month. It means a lot. I put so much work into this. It's been so hard to make myself do anything and like feel good about myself and be productive in these in this past couple of weeks. But I've managed to do it. And this cardigan is proof of that. That despite it all, I can still create and I can still do good for other people. This damn cardigan has a lot of symbolism attached to it in my brain. It just means a lot. Hello, rats. It's a new day. It's a new day. 
Another day, another dollar. What can I say? A little sidebar really quick. I didn't have my meds that I take daily for most of the day, so work was a trudge. But then I got my meds at about 3 p.m. and I took them later in the day than I normally do. And I got home feeling very productive and very slay. So I did my laundry for the first time in two months. Go me. And I was going to check if the dryers had a spin cycle where they didn't have heat. They just spun. And I forgot to do that while I was down there. But they're not very high tech dryers so I don't I don't think they have the capability of doing that so all of this to say the cardigan is still drying that was a crazy sidebar that led us right into the topic that I was supposed to be talking about sweet the cardigan is still drying it is hanging up in my shower currently because it is still pretty damn wet another sidebar I found my letters so I updated the letter board it has my at right here, Rat Tail Textiles. I am on TikTok now. I've only posted two TikToks, but I am on the platform. I do not have an Instagram. I don't know if I should make one. I don't particularly want to make an Instagram, but I know that is a good way to grow the brand. So if you would give a shit to follow, comment and let me know. Thanks. So yeah, all of that is to say, Cardigan is still drying, so I'm working on other shit. Another video, the upcoming video, the next video, may, probably not the next. But I'm working on, I'm working on another project in the meantime, so stay tuned. Okay, bye. Rats, the cardigan is done. It looks amazing. I'm so happy with it. The colors the fit, everything about it turned out wonderful. I could not be more pleased and I am so happy that I was able to make this and make it as awesome as I did. I wanted to take you outside for the special occasion. I hope the sound isn't too bad. Here it is. I'll show you better videos. I have some regrets, I'll be honest, but Truly, I'm very happy with what I with what I got. I had a lot of struggles with this project, both with the project and outside of the project. I'm happy to get this off my shoulders, honestly. It's nice to complete something. Of course, I had to wear the pants that match the lilac yarn. Had to. Had to stunt on them. I didn't know if you noticed, but my fit is pretty fire. With the bowling bag, too? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I am that girl. I am that girl. I mean, I won't be once I get rid of this cardigan. But, no. Not true. I'm still that girl. I will always be that girl. <laughs> One thing about this video is I feel like I got very involved to a degree that was fun, but also was very tiring and just a lot. So I think the next video I might be a little bit less intimate, less demonstrative of my life, if that makes sense. I want to put out this video, obviously to show the process of the cardigan, but also just to be transparent about mental health because I think that's very important to be honest when you are not doing well. I think it's good to be transparent about that just so other people know that what they're going through is okay too. We're all going through some shit and it sucks. Let's be honest about it. Next video, I don't know what it's gonna be. I've got a longer project in the works right now that I'm super excited about, but I wanna post between now and then. So we'll see what I come up with. Rats, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for liking the video. Do it. Thank you so much for subscribing. Do it. Thanks, you're the best. You are welcome back at the Rat Den anytime. Click on one of my other videos. Or else.